Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Yuna Wonders and today we'll be making uni pasta. Hey, so this is everything that I bought at H Mart. I spent about $50 on everything, which is pretty good for two to three people. We have right here some spaghetti, some furikake, lemons, heavy whipping cream, some seaweed, keem, masago for some garnish, green onions, butter, unsalted, and last but not least, and most importantly, uni. Uni, you can find at H Mart or at any Japanese market. I decided to go to H Mart today because it's, it was closer for me, but honestly, the Japanese market has better quality uni. This one doesn't look that good today, but we're gonna work with it. Here we go. I'm using three green onions because I don't think I need all of them. Wash, 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 clean, 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 scrub a dub dub, clean veggies. So I'm usually not really good at chopping. I usually have this, um, have someone else do this part, but here, let me try. I know that you're, I took uh, some cooking lessons before and I know that you're supposed to put your fingertips like this. And I know I'm not good at it, so don't laugh at me. I'm just gonna quickly just slice, 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 slice. What do you guys think of my chopping skills? Good or not? Comment below. I got my green onions right here, ready for my garnish. Masago, it's kimo ae. It's fish eggs, orange fish eggs. I love this. It goes well with California rolls, and it's a good garnish for the uni. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this into my bowl right here. So we could use this as a garnish. And then we could just uh, freeze this and save the rest for next time. Cut up this lemon, because who doesn't like lemon with their uni? I salted my um, water too much, so my pasta was really, really salty. This time, we're not gonna let that happen again. Salt, 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 salt. That should be good, right? And then we're gonna cook this for 10 to 11 minutes. So 10 to 11 minutes, that's 8.35. So while we got that cooking, I am gonna start making my sauce. To really make the uni sauce is butter, uni, and heavy cream. It's very simple, really easy. I don't really like to use that much butter, so I might use a little less than half because butter's to be healthy. And maybe I'll just use more heavy cream instead. So I'm just gonna cut maybe like a third cup. I'm gonna add that right there. Have it melt. By the way, this pan, it's um, made out of titanium. It's my dad's brand, Nature Ease. It's only the best quality. You can look it up. It'll be coming to the US very soon. Everything on here just cooks so good. So before I put in the uni into the sauce, I'm gonna pick out my favorite looking unis. I mean, you know, you can tell they're not the best quality right now, 
but I'll just grab the best looking ones as my garnish. Hmm, maybe you, this, I mean, this plate doesn't look that bad. Where else? the uni winner. Who's gonna win the uni beauty contest? So these look like they were the best out of the bunch. So I'm gonna use these unis as my garnish. All the ugly ones, I'm gonna make for the sauce. Gather up all my uni. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna put that on top of the pan. That put every little bitty uni on there. We don't wanna waste a thing. Know how expensive these suckers can get. So I put all the uni onto the pan. I'm gonna, um, like, kind of like, what is this? Break it up. Yeah, break it up. I'm gonna break it up, smash it up. And then I'm gonna add some heavy cream. By the way, you guys, this is on low heat. I only, I'm only gonna add like three to four tablespoons of the heavy cream, maybe like five, I don't know. We'll see. We'll work with it. You guys, this is on low heat again. I kind of browned my butter. I don't know because um, I heard that brown butter is a little bit more nuttier and I love nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. Pasta's um, gonna be done in about a minute. So I'm gonna be draining that while, I mean, this, pause, this sauce is pretty much done. Like. I could add a little bit of more heavy cream. So let's just say not five tablespoons, but like seven tablespoons. I mean, you kind of just like eye it out. And then you gotta make this. Oops, I'm gonna lower my heat. And I want to kind of like break it up more so it's not too chunky. To be honest, it should be kind of like more of a puree, but I like really like like chunky uni flavor I'm having my sauce cooking right now more heavy cream much more heavy cream okay so now I'm gonna um, take out the pasta because it's been about 10 to 11 minutes. I'm gonna drain my pasta. I'm gonna keep a little bit of my pasta water for my sauce. Add this baby over here. Boom. How easy is that? How easy is that? Okay, you guys, the uni should be a little bit more pureed. It's very chunky right now, and I think it's gonna be easier to like break it up amongst the noodles. So um, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper, white pepper, not black pepper, white pepper. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna use a little bit of pepper to spice it up. I didn't have real garlic today, so I'm just gonna use some of this granulated California garlic from Kirkland Costco. Not too much, just like literally just like one dash. Boom, that's it. <laughs> Some lemon, we're gonna cut out the butter and the cream. Like who, nobody likes the Kia stuff, right? I hate the Kia stuff. I need some acid to cut out everything. Lemon. Oh yeah, that smells amazing. It smells so good. And honestly, there is a lot of uni. You're gonna get uni in every single bite. There's so much uni chunks in here. If you look closely, look at all that uni. Look at all that. You're definitely gonna get uni in every single bite. Okay, now I'm gonna start plating. Garnishes on top. Some fur cocky. Looks nice. 